Howdy, my name is Hafid, and in this video, I want to show you how to easily create a realistic campfire simulation, how to texture it, how to quickly light it, and export the VDB if you want to use this in Octane, Redshift, Arnold, whatever you like. Before I start, I quickly want to show you three things. The first is that if you have a Cinema 4D educational license, you can easily get a 90% discount on the X Particles Perpetual License. Again, this is a huge discount if you have that educational version. You can easily go to the shopping cart and check that. Instead of $850, they're gonna subtract $764 and you're only gonna pay $85. Now, as a student trying to like discover X particles and get into it, if you really like it and wanna do this as a career, after you graduate, after you're done with your education, this is a great way, a great discount for all of you that are trying to get into X particles. The second thing I want to show you is that if you don't already have cinema 4d just apply for the academic subscription uh, right now because they partner with Ray giant they change it up a little bit now they're going to be checking on you every semester but easily apply here through the link they're going to send you a promo code provided and once you go through that link you can see that yes they are going to charge you a three dollar fee but they're going to include redshift and the and the complete red giant uh suite so when i did it um uh, it, it was free but they only gave me cinema 4d and i believe that it was like two versions um two versions below the recent one so i think this is going to give you the new the, the most recent cinema 4d they're going to include redshift and red giant and yeah you're going to have to pay three dollars extra a month but i believe that it's worth it the third and last thing i want to show you is where you can get this free model of this bear with this fish this is sketchfab.com i'll leave the link in the description this is made by ida faber and you can download the model for free it has a cc attribution you can use it for anything you want you just gotta make sure to credit ida faber so i i recommend that you just take a screenshot of this if you're planning to use this on like a commercial composition or anything again you can use it because there is a cc attribution i also use this 3d scan model for this wood stick as well as this one and I believe that was one more. Yep, that's this one. This is not a 3D scan. This is just a free model that you can use. For the actual structure of the fire, I just wanted to have something really organic, therefore having like a variation of the thickness and the length of the sticks. You can create any structure that you want, something more put together like this. I mean, look at this guy's hat. He clearly knows what he's doing. <laughs> look at his shirt. He has more style than me. But anyways, I'll find a reference that you want to um, replicate and just use that to create the structure from and then we can just do the fire simulation right after okay so here i have imported the pieces of wood and if we take a look at the geometry this very first one has a really dense mesh and we actually need to lower this resolution but it's going to be really easy i'm going to show you right now really quick just select the branch number one go to create generator and holding alt just go to remesh now it's going to make it apparent and for the mesh density just make that like really low like even like 10 percent this is not only going to change the density of the mesh but also change the typology instead of having this uh triangles we're going to have these quadrangles and i'm actually going to reduce the mesh density even lower to like two percent something like this because this is going to be the source of our fire we're going to be using this particle so i believe that it's going to be using every vertex or even the surfaces every polygon to create the fire so the more that we have the more it's going to take the longer it's going to take to calculate so i think it is best that whenever if you're using 3d scans to reduce the mesh of your objects once you have your six ready just select all of them Control alt to make the cloner the parent of all of them for the mode we're gonna leave it on grid array we're gonna set the instance mode to render instance and for the count we're gonna have three on the x three on the y three on the set and we're just gonna decrease the size of the step just so they are all closer together as if we are going to pile them up something like this just really close to each other and then in the clones mode we're just gonna set that to random and with the cloner still selected go to MoGraph effector and let's just add a random effector to give those pieces more of a variation we'll go to the parameter deactivate the position activate the rotation and let's just um start moving these pieces just so they look more like they're piling on top of each other kind of like we did it ourselves just to give it like more organic looks something like this we can go back to the cloner 
make the step size a bit shorter something like this something like that we're just trying to get that organic look of this like pile of wood pieces once you have something that you like middle mouse button on the cloner to select all of the children right click on it and then just make connect objects plus delete this is going to create a single object out of our wooden pile or wooden pieces made from the cloner you don't need the random effector anymore so you can delete that i do have this figure though this is just to give me a sense of scale which is going to matter a lot whenever you create these type of simulations it's just going to change the way that the smoke and the fire react according to the size according to the source in this case is going to be this wooden pile the next step from here is to create an xp system you can find it here on the x particles menu xp system we're not going to need any emitters in this case go to the dynamics and the dynamics object just add an explosion effects dynamics and all we have to do after this point is go to the cloner go to the tags x particle tags and just add a explosion effects source into this so when we play it we can instantly see that this thing is turning on fire at this point everything should be working fine if you do notice that the smoke is going going out of bounds and it's kind of like cutting off that smoke if you're trying to get this into frame just easily go to the explosion effects go into like the side view and you can easily just move this up just so you have a little bit more space at the top where the smoke can dissipate you can actually just make this thinner if the smoke is not gonna go through the sides go to the top view and do the same thing just to optimize that a little bit more it might run a little bit smoother if you want to get a better idea of what this might look like whenever it's rendered go into the explosion effects display tab and on the slices just crank that up to like a thousand and twenty four samples and this is just going to show you a lot more detail and this is probably what your render is going to look like if you think that this is too much smoke for your liking just go back into the cloner and to the XP source stack. I will reduce the pressure to like five and probably this curl to like 20, 21. And if we play it again, we can see that that is going to produce less smoke, also a little bit less fire. It's only going to happen at the beginning whenever it starts the simulation. But if you still feel like this a lot, just go into the explosion effects, go into the simulation tag down into dissipation and on the smoke dissipation parameter just change that to like a 0.2 i don't think you should make a, a big changes let's try that and as you can see we don't have as much smoke anymore it is going to be created but it's going to be dissipated uh the more that we put into this parameter for the lighting and texturing of this fire i used cycles 4d which is completely compatible with x particles but you can use the same technique if you're going to do this with a different render all i did was create a soft light uh, you can use the equivalent of an area light and just put it upwards um, above the fire just like this i will say to put it above the explosion effects and then you just make it wide enough in all of the sides just so you can get that really soft light effect and because i'm using cycles 4d i actually have a menu here over there in the material section uh, we have an explosion effects and I'm just going to use this burn and smoke nature and just directly drag it into my explosion effects. If the smoke is not looking the way you want it, just go into the light itself and just increase the strength. In this case, I'm going to set it up to like 10. If you need to change the intensity of the illumination of this fire, just go to the material itself. In my case, I'm going to these... Uh, a multiply from the emission and i'm just going to decrease the value instead of 60 just half it to like 30 and at this point you have to decide if this fire looks good enough for you if it's too low of a resolution you have to go to the explosion effects into the solver tag and you have to decrease this voxel size a lot of these simulations the lower the voxel size the more detail you're going to get but the longer is going to take to calculate the whole simulation what i had in my example was a 0.7 i just think that's a sweet spot for this type of simulations actually anything lower than one is actually really good and if i try to play this just on the editor it's going to take some time it's not too slow but it is going to take a while just because there's a lot more to calculate but again 
that's just gonna give you the detail if you need more than this in here as you can see now we have a lot more detail on the flames even the smoke has a lot more structure we can see like individual curls so it's just gonna depend where you're going to use the simulation from if this is just gonna be something on the background you might not need as much detail but if this is somewhat in the foreground I do recommend that you decrease that voxel size anything low under one a 0.7 is the sweet spot that I found but this is going to be up to you. The last thing I want to show you is how to export just the fire simulation as a BDV file so you can use it in any other render if you don't have cycles 4D for example and all you have to do is in the XP system go down to utilities and then choose the utility XP cache. For the cache type make sure that it's set to external files and then on the EFX format set that to open VDB select the place that you want to save it and then just press build cache what i like to do is just create a cache folder in the same place where i saved my cinema 4d file so just create a cache folder and then just press ok here i have the same scene just made up to work with octane i cannot promise to show you how to make it look exactly like how you exported it from x particles as you can see you do have to play with your own render to match the light to change the intensity of the fire of the smoke that's gonna depend really on which render you're gonna use to load the VDB so I'll leave that up to you to find something more informational than this tutorial just in case that you need to do this in Octane but as you could see with Cycles 4D it was just a matter of dragging the material to the explosion effects uh, launching uh, cycles for the preview and then we got it working if this was useful to you but you still have a couple questions let me know down in the comments you can also just send me a personal message on instagram my account is hafit.particles and also if you're watching this and you're like that's not the way that you should teach it also let me know i am willing to learn as well because i'm also learning like you guys and if you're interested to see how to easily create a fireball check out my last video this is everything for this one my name is Hafid and I'll see you on the next video.